Hey guys, uh, this is probably what we might call phase two of the project for lead screw and nut for the compound slide. Just to refresh, here's the uh, lead screw nut. Lighting is not very good. And you can notice that the top is the top is shaved off pretty dramatically for clearance. It almost gets onto the thread, but fortunately it doesn't matter too much. So that's we've got to make a new one of those. And then the lead screw itself. Two fairly important uh, keyways for woodruff keys and that's fairly critical thread is 10 TPI square thread which I'll use again hoping I can find my cutters I did make a pair for another lead screw job anyway let's get to the drawing well here we are with the drawing and <clears throat> the actual uh, dimensions are not too important to have to see although you might be able to use the pause and take a closer look if you want. The uh, lead screw is shown twice because of uh, having more space for dimensions. We've got mostly diameters on the top one, the bottom one is most of the linears. It's a mix really. And then this uh, spindle area with the keyways, that's been expanded so we can get a closer look and get the dimensions a bit more easily shown. And then the lead screw nut down the bottom. So if we take a look, just look a little bit closer, that's the lead screw. Most critical probably are the keyways and the this end for instance here, hang on let's change the cursor, the end here is not very critical for length. This one also not terribly critical these two, pretty important. That can be a little longer, it's only a retaining nut. And then the keyways, this is fairly critical as I just said, we've got 901 measuring up for the woodruff keys which are half inch by 332 which is 937. So the original keys may have been slightly reduced in diameter. I'll uh, have to check that. I've also got a keyway cutter coming for that size. And I might do a test with that to see how the uh, cut comes out. That'll have to be done in the lathe using the vertical slide, which will be a little bit awkward. And the lead screw nut, uh, inch by inch brass, we're going to use for that. The full inch that way, that's easy and the width at 860 I think is probably there for clearance the same as we've got a height reduction here very close to the thread again a clearance factor and uh, it just on the old one it just touches the thread but not enough to matter this is very critical 320 and that's going to be carefully controlled so we keep uh, linear truth with the lead screw through the thread. We'll probably do the nut first and uh, get it basically sized, turn down to get the spigot and thread the spigot and then cut the internal thread, sorry there's, <laughs> cut the internal thread and get that as accurate as we can which means then that when we turn our attention to the lead screw we can cut the male thread to the point where we can do a test with that thread in the nut and get a very good fit. It's actually showing as 487 and uh, I would expect this was made from half inch or turned from half inch before threading that's something I'll have to investigate and see what works out. But the ideal is to match this thread to the lead screw nut and if necessary make small adjustments and probably finally 
a very fine lapping paste. The idea being to get a really good tight fit, but free enough so it doesn't drag. And uh, that probably is about it. I think the sequence on this will be to do a basic external diameter turn down. We'll call it three quarter. We'll turn down this section here to a nominal half inch for starting. Cut the thread check the thread and if we're good to go with the nut then that is uh, that then gives us the opportunity to progress further <laughs> I'd rather screw up the thread first before I cut this end we'll have center drill both ends and obviously when we start this end will be in the chuck and that'll have a live center if the thread succeeds alright we'll turn it round we'll put this in the chuck and then we'll turn down these diameters and lengths and the final stage if we get complete there is to do the keyways there you have it that's pretty much it and uh, any further details I'll add when we do the next stage if I'm lucky enough to get in the workshop uh, with a slightly milder weather get some material looked out and make a start we'll hopefully get a phase two video coming up before too long on the other hand as I always say particularly at this time of year don't hold your breath but that's just a start so uh, you can refer to my introduction for just the uh, initial analysis and taking the parts out and I think I said this is phase two so phase three will be the next to come anyway thanks for watching <music>